Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly Clark, and welcome to this little tutorial video thing about the gradient highlight. Welcome to my demo. So in my what I did get from Sephora VIB sale video, I said that I had ordered this online. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Trio. This is just a cute little highlighter trio which has three shimmering skin perfectors, uh, pressed formulas in the shades Pearl, which is a new shade, which is supposedly going to be a full, will be released in a full sign. Champagne Pop, which is Jaclyn Hill's limited edition shade and blushed copper, which is a deeper toned highlight or a blush. All three of these are super shimmery. They're supergorge.org. Champagne Pop is a really beautiful shade, but it is a little too deep for me to use exclusively as a highlight. It's just like a little too orange and like a little too dark. Here, I'll swatch it. Like it's really beautiful and it's like crazy shimmery, but it's it's a little off for me. But Pearl here, Pearl is just like, oh, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. And here I might as well swatch blushed copper while I'm at it. This is that third beautiful blush shade. I mean, they're they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous shades, all of them. If you have a deeper skin tone, blush copper and champagne pop are perfect for you. They're gorgeous. Anyway, a couple months ago, I was look when I was like initially looking for like my first Becca highlight when I was like on the hunt for like the perfect highlight. I looked at Moonstone, I looked at Champagne Pop, and I was in the store and I was like, I think Champagne Pop is like too deep for me or whatever. And like this fabulous, like beautiful gay, like sales associate guy was like, Oh girl, you could like do a gradient highlight. And I was like, what? What the, what are you talking about? What? And he's like, you can put a deeper highlight shade on the backs of your cheekbones and then your lighter highlight on the front. And I was like, wait, no, because highlight is like highlight. Like you just want up, up highlight, high. Hi, hi, you don't want like low, high, like what? No. And he's like, well, you do that with your contour, right? Like you put a deeper contour shade at the back of your cheek and then like it gradiates out, like it gets lighter. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you can do that exact same thing with your highlight. And I was like, what? What? Basically like the reason that you might want to do that is if you are like interested in like having not only like your cheeks pop out more, but like having your face kind of like seem a little more petite and narrow. Now, I, I have like a long face, like I'm not, it's not like a huge, I, 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 I just like it. I like how it like just makes everything even, even more small, but it's like a really effective tool. I think if you have like a particularly wide face and you want to like cut down on some of that width, or if you have like really kind of like round cheeks or like big cheeks and you want to like really have like the, bones like that like the forward facing bones kind of like pop out interesting anyway so what i've done basically is i'm wearing champagne pop on the back of my cheekbone and then pearl towards the front and i think it's like a really kind of pretty but like really subtle thing like you can tell like this is there's it's all highlighted like the light catches all of it but it's just like a slightly different quality and it really makes the like kind of like bone like Angelina Jolie like the rest of my body just like hangs like a sack of skin from my cheekbones thing like it's a coat hanger like that's that's why I want I want the cheekbones to just look like they're holding holding the rest of me up and it really does that because it kind of like further emphasizes that like forward thing now the thing that i found has been really helpful for accentuating this is to not only use two different tones of uh, kind of sparkly shimmery highlight but to also combine it with two matte tones of highlight underneath so for this look i use the lunatic cosmetic labs palette which i have a full review of please check it out it's in depth anyway but i use these two highlight shades from that palette this 
kind of vanilla-y shade and then this white shade as the kind of back of my cheekbone and more forward part of my cheekbone respectively. Now I've also done this with two MAC Pro shaping powders. I've used Accentuate, which is a slightly rosier, like slightly pinkier, peachy, non-white highlight of the back of the cheek, and then Emphasize, which is a more pure white tone towards the front of the cheekbone, and it does that same kind of thing. I really find that if you do that like first layer of matte stuff, and then add like a shimmery gradated highlight. It just really is effective. Anyway, I think so. So I here's my little subtle, like the end result of my little subtle look. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So stay tuned if you wanna see how to get this gorgeous and subtle gradient highlight. Enjoy. Okay, so I've already done my foundation, my cream contour, and I have set that contour, and now I am setting my cream highlight. You could also just set your concealer in this kind of gradient fashion. I'm taking a matte highlight from the Limited Cosmetic Labs palette in the shade Vanilla, that kind of more yellowy highlight shade, and I'm placing that in the back of my cheekbones and anywhere where I want the kind of outer edge of my highlight to be. As you can see, I'm also adding it to other parts of my face that I want to highlight, but maybe not as intensely as my cheekbones, like underneath my contour. Then I am taking the bright white highlight shade from that same palette, placing it on the front of my cheekbones, the tops of my cheekbones, the center of my forehead, and the tip of my nose. Fast forward to after a couple cut creases. I'm taking Pearl now on a big fluffy Morphe brush and just placing that on the tops of my cheekbones. Kind of going the reverse order with the shimmery highlight shades, light to dark. Not really any particular reason for this. Then I flip the brush over and I'm using that champagne pop at the back of my cheekbones, kind of a deeper part of the highlight gradient. Kind of lightly wisping these together. The thing with these beautiful Becca shimmering skin perfectors is a little goes a long way. They're very shiny, very reflective, gorgeous. Now that is my gradient highlight. I'm going to kind of add a blush on top of that to kind of blend the highlight and contour together. This is the shade Furnace from the Sleek Blush by 3 palette in the shade Flame. I'm just taking this on a big fluffy Real Techniques blush brush and dusting that right between my highlight and contour. Then to kind of create an even further gradient situation, I'm taking that Becca blushed copper on a small stippling brush and just spreading that towards the front of my cheekbones as a blush topper, and then blending it out a little bit. And boom, there is my finished gradient highlight look. Boom! I hope you enjoyed that video. I, I really think it's like a really beautiful, I, I think you can do it like to a kind of more dramatic effects like this, but I'm honestly like my highlight's not crazy dramatic. Like I think it could be like a really beautiful subtle thing. And honestly, if you're doing something like strobing, I think this is a great technique. If you like have missed the strobing boat or have been living under a rock or purposefully ignoring all of the hype about strobing, I don't blame you. It's there's a lot of it. But strobing is basically highlight without contour. So it's basically putting on highlight to make things come forward without worrying about the contour getting like you're basically doing the same thing as highlighting and contouring, except you're not adding a shade that's deeper than your skin tone to contour. You're just adding shades that are lighter than your skin tone to bring things forward. So if you're doing that, I think this is a great kind of addition to your strobing technique because it creates even more dimension using two kind of degrees of highlight. I think it's so pretty and like subtle, but like super effective and sophisticated and Anyway, I, I like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my other videos. You know, all that good stuff. I'm Kimberly Clark. Bye. All right, now we're gonna do this. We gotta look at these. Yas nails, yas.
I haven't had nails for so long. This is Chanel Cinema, which was like a, a kind of like basic red, not basic, not basic, beautiful like red, slightly like rusty, I don't know. Red. It's not like a bl true blue red from Chanel from a couple years ago, a year ago. But I feel like it really works well with these lips, which is, uh, these lips are Archangel by Kat Von D. Setting Kiss lipstick, just like a slightly rustier red than like, you know, Ruby Woo or something like that, which is like that blue red. Oh, just cute, right? Oh. Can you see my stubble? I've been wearing this face for so long. My beard is like literally, I could feel it. Bye.